Secretary of State Tony Blinken today said, um, I think it was today, it might have been yesterday, uh, and it's always important at moments like this to watch what your uh, opponents do, not merely what they say. Um, uh, what is the impact so far of the EU's battery of sanctions on people in the European community? So uh, it's been it's been strong. It's been negative. Uh, uh, no no question about it. Uh, we do not produce our own gas or oil in the European Union. We don't have those resources, and the prices of gas have skyrocketed. They were already high. The problem with with electricity prices that depend on gas prices and gas prices around the world um, are a very volatile market for uh, you know for years. But after the invasion, uh, they have gone up even higher. Uh, which is both uh, the the price of the gas pump that people discuss here, uh, but also the price of electricity more broadly. Uh, just to give you a, a figure to to get a sense of comparison, our gas prices uh, last week were nine times higher than in the U.S., and our electricity prices on average are six times higher than in the U.S. Now, this is uh, a cost and a hit, but the European economy coming out of COVID has been very strong. Uh, we're looking at the potential consequences of continuing um, of the continuing Putin aggression on the economy, and uh, and uh, uh, there's a prediction that we could have a contraction between 0.5 to 1.5 percent of GDP uh, in uh, in this year. Uh, now that's significant, but we can handle it. Uh, and uh, so, if uh, anyone in Russia or anyone else assumes that the European Union, because of these costs, but at any point a waiver, uh, they have a second thought coming. 